I did not tell my mom that I really love her. And I really want to take this opportunity to say that. Newcomer women invite us to take a walk in their shoes for the Winnipeg production of The Shoe Project. The show debuts in Winnipeg this weekend and has 10 immigrants and refugee women using shoes that belong to them or their loved ones to tell stories about their journey to Canada. I did my first steps in Canada in, this, in these shoes. Uh, yeah, and my story about how do I feel myself in this pair of shoes and about the adjustment to a new country. What were the challenges, but also what were uh, all the positive outcomes we can get once we move to uh, to this new country? I have to walk slowly, slower than I care to move through life. But I never gave up. When you when you read a story. It's, uh, it's one thing, you, you know, like maybe you engage with the story for the moment and then you forget. But when you are listening to the person, it's completely different. I think that you never forget about that. And a line shattered by the Vietnam War, she did her best to take care of us. The SHOE project was launched in Toronto in 2011 and has since added chapters to many cities across Canada with the aim to amplify the voices of immigrant and refugee women. These boots have taken me across Canada to see my favorite bands and singers perform. So I found that I maybe need to speak out a little bit or step out of my comfort zone. Maybe uh, my story can inspire some like new immigrants to speak out loud whatever they need. They will hear our stories and feel that we are, we are connected and we are big and uh, we are a very supportive community. The women go through several weeks of writing and performance training in preparation for the project. And one storyteller describes the experience as unforgettable. I feel much more confident right now. And also the connections, the relationships you get uh, through this uh, preparation, it has been great. In Winnipeg, Timmy Olatunde, City News.